I will say that it was trial and error, but I think that I've found a method that works for me, a method that I'm happy with. The way that my hair is styled today is thanks to these rollers. So I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the process. Hello, hon. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Robin. I run a holistic beauty blog called Behold. And in this space, we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out. Now, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my first impressions of the Jumbo Purple Straw Rollers. And these are 64 millimeter in diameter. I really wanted to try these rollers because I wanted to be able to stretch my hair. I wanted to be able to use minimal heat on my hair. And I just had such high hopes for these rollers because I saw another creator using these rollers. And even though she had much finer hair than I do, like her hair is long, but it's quite thin. I thought this was used by natural. So let me try it to see whether it can work with that poor hair. And... <laughs> I will say that it was trial and error, but I think that I've found a method that works for me, a method that I'm happy with. These rollers are not easy to find. I found these on Air Online and actually still has a little bit of hair in it. It did catch my hair a little bit. The person who owns that company is actually also a creator and I saw her using these rollers i was like i definitely need to try it i was influenced and these are actually stow rollers i hope that i'm pronouncing it correctly it is s-t-o-h-r and stow rollers are old school it is uh, a german company who creates these plastic rollers with tiny spikes and they just have been doing the things for the longest time. The rollers that you would usually see are the pink, the orange and the green rollers. It was 210 for 12, which is quite pricey if you look at something like a plastic roller, but it is, a, it is quite a different size and it is hard to find, so it's understandable. And because I also paid this price, I was determined to make it work let's start with my first attempt it was such a huge fail because i bought the rollers and i also got white pins with it but unfortunately the pins were too small they weren't really fitting into the rollers and as much as i was trying even to slide it in from the side the rollers were just not holding my hair i also tried to use less hair but the less hair i used the more rollers i needed and I already bought 24 rollers, so I was not gonna buy another pack. Needless to say, the first try was a fail. I rolled my hair for like a couple of hours because I didn't wanna give up. I really was determined to make this work. I wanted to film a video about it and share my first impressions. But I also realized that this is a method that you can't always expect to perfect the first time around. It is rolling your own hair, so it's not going to be an easy task. The same as braiding your hair. When I braided my hair the first time, it wasn't amazing. It was okay. But as I go along, I'm sure that I will get better at it. And after my second attempt, which is this one, I feel like it's looking okay. I can walk outside with it. I'm comfortable enough to walk outside with it. So my next attempt will only be better. I started off on freshly washed hair. You can see that my hair has grown quite long and it's naturally thick. I then applied a leave-in lotion and the one I'm using here is from Garnier. I will be sharing a full review on this leave-in lotion in my next video, so subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I also applied a hair oil to lock in the moisture. One that I'm using here is a blend of castor oil, shea butter and coconut oil. Notice when I apply a product, I always start at the ends because that's the oldest and it needs the most attention. And what's left on my hand is what I apply to the rest of my hair because I don't want to weigh my roots down. I started rolling from the front of my hair and you'll notice that I actually compared the size and circumference of the roller to the amount of hair I was placing on it. 
that seems a bit complicated but i promise you it's really easy all you do is place the roller against your head and guess how much hair will fit on the roller you want to make sure that all hair fits on the roller really well and that nothing is overlapping i use the wide tooth comb to detangle my hair and i started rolling the hair from the back right up when i roll my hair from the back up it stretches my roots nicely as long as i maintain enough tension by keeping my hair straight far enough away from my roots as i roll it up it will ensure that my hair is well stretched and it's less curly once it dries You also want to keep a spray bottle nearby. This is just an old bottle that I put water in to ensure that my hair is completely wet when I roll it. It's no use rolling dry hair because then it's just still going to be curly. You'll notice that as I roll, I'm also rubbing my fingers down onto my hair to ensure that the hair is completely flat onto the roller. I want to ensure that there's no stray hairs, that all the hairs are falling in the right way, that it's not in a zigzag pattern or anything, and that it's just well placed. I'll quickly show you two more, but also look closely at where I'm placing the pins, especially when I'm rolling up. You can see that I'm rubbing my hair down to secure the strands and then I'm placing the slide onto my scalp and onto the roller as far back as possible. With my hair so curly you can see that I'm actually using my thumb to roll the hair and to hold it down. Professional stylists would probably use a comb and here you can see that I'm placing the slide the furthest back as possible. My cousin recommended that I buy these pins and these are uh, normal hair clips that you would use in your hair but they're extra large. Um, I just want to take them out so you can see they are extra large pins. What I would do is I would roll my hair and in order for the roller to remain tightly on my head I would slide this in the roller on the side. This is also a style that will stretch your hair and will require a little bit of hold. The humidity will change the style. It's not like you're doing a wash and go and then you have a little bit of frizz. Like you can see over here my hair is a little bit frizzed already because I was outside. My hair was blowing in the wind which I was so happy with. Instead of going with a conditioner I decided to mask with a deep conditioning mask and the one that I used was a label M anti-frizz mask. So this is specifically to reduce the frizz and I think that it did a really good job. I think that it really hydrated my hair. I could feel that my hair was you know getting that slip that you normally get when you use like a really rich conditioner and I kept this on my hair for quite a bit of time and I could see you know my hair was being hydrated then I went in with a hair oil to just lock in all of that moisture and the hair oil that I used was yeah. the thin or afro vegan oil the amount of time that you have to sit under the dryer depends on the length of your hair the thickness of your hair like I said because my hair is longer it means that I need to roll over my own hair quite a few times and that means my hair is going to take longer to dry so if you don't have a portable hair dryer you can actually take a plastic bag or whatever type of um, sealed bag you have and then you have the heat distributed all over. I left the details for all the products and tools in the description below. So if you want to check that out and also go and get these rollers, that's all there. If you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that this video is worth watching and that other people should see it. And then subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my next video. And if you're keen to watch more hair videos like this, stick around because I have another one coming up after this.